Well, I, for one, am enjoying my day. I'm having a lovely morning, and I'm really excited to see Mark McNamara. I'm John Hill. Welcome to to Discussion Advice. Listen, I'm trying out something different. I was doing kind of game show hosty bullshit before. I was trying to do welcome to the show, theater queen, sixth grade, you know, energy. But I think, according to our fans, seeing as how I am a 75-year-old woman, I might want to be more chilled out. Hi, Mark. Hi. I- I'm loving this episode so far. I'm loving this episode so far. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're talking about big dicks, big dick energy. Listen, how's your, you'd how's think your that energy going today? It's big and it's dicky. You'd think that on a podcast produced by Falcon Naked Sword, the amazing company for which we work, um, you, we would have had a big dick episode in the first six months of the podcast, but we haven't. That's how classy we are. We waited, but we're finally giving you what you want. We are talking about just straight up, I guess, big dicks. That's our theme today. Big dick, big dicks. I mean, episode 15, it's, it's, it's about time. It's time. And um, let's just say it right off the bat. I am someone who struggles with penis size. I wonder if, uh, like, later in life, did it get shorter? What happened? Now, is your dick, <laughs> is it small because it's it's short or small because it's skinny? It's not skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a it's short. It's not short either. Fat. I'm just, no, okay. I'm not saying anything derogatory about my penis. Is that your persona? Penis. Do you actually have a big dick and, and you just, your energy tells me that it's big. <laughs> It's not. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, <laughs> it's not. But like, I'm not also saying like, oh, it's so small. I'm just like, I never worried about it until I got older. And maybe it's because. Um, if I it were a ruler, <laughs> how big would it be? <laughs> we're not going to measure it. But it's not like, it's it, it's satisfactory. It's fine. I love it. I just am like, we, we interact on this podcast with people who have. Like literally their job is to just walk around and whip their big dicks around. So when you're around that, you start to wonder, hey, what's happening with me? You know? So I guess throughout the course of the episode, what I'm trying to say is we're going to kind of go on that journey, you know? Yeah, I guess we are. Speaking of journey, I am so happy to be back in New York. The last two times we talked, I was overseas, so now we're, I'm back, and I'm just I'm happy to be in the same country as your tiny dick. Sorry, Thank God. Dick. You know, not, it sucked unsure. while you were away. Why? We made the most of it, though. We did. Make I don't, you were in Africa it. on a beach. <sighs> yeah. Well, I'm back now, and it was, it was not without some drama. Getting home from, from Madrid, I left my computer in security, and then I stayed in the lounge for an hour. So I didn't realize till we were boarding my flight, I had gone through customs, I had gone through security, I had gone through, it was like another security at the gate. And when we were boarding the flight, I realized, oh, fuck, I don't have my computer on me. So it was a big ordeal. I had to run back through customs. I like screamed and shouted because I had to make a scene in order for someone to help me. So someone did. They brought me down to this lost and found. Oh, you're like Bill O'Reilly at an airport or Ted Cruz. Well, I needed my computer because they told me they would not mail it to me. So I was going to lose it for good if I didn't try to go back and get it. But I got it, and that was lovely. So I'm, I'm talking on it right now, thank God. But um, So speaking of big dick energy, I have a little confession. I joined Tinder. No way. Oh, wait, again, Tinder. you got swindled. I did it. Well, I, it wasn't on Tinder that I got swindled. It was on Grindr that we, we had met. But I don't have the grinders. It was just, and it, it, I was not enjoying the grinders. I wasn't meeting anybody on there. And it just became like, why do I even have this? So I got the tenders and I met someone for a little date. And it was a fucking disaster. And I know he's listening to this because he brought up the podcast and he oh. brought up about how much better looking I am in person than the videos on this podcast. I have it's to, like, pro- I agree like, because we don't look cute. When the things I pop up, cute. I think you look cute. You look adorable. You look very handsome. I always rag on you about your are whatever. Are we dating? Are we on Tinder? <laughs> um, but no, when, when, when any of these videos like cross someone's for you page of my friends and they're like, oh, look. And I'm like, who the hell is that bone dry old person? Anyway, I think you're look. <laughs> so tell me what, what is the culture on Tinder right now? Because I'm on Grindr and Scruff. Okay, I'm not on those. But 
do people okay so speaking of like that are people surprised when they meet you in person of just how large you are yeah actually because you're gigantic you're like six five you're like 400 pounds like you're surprisingly large <laughs> yeah they're like what's happening with your body <laughs> <laughs> no it's great you're you're stunning but people i mean you're just in a box right now so people don't realize just how large and in charge chunky yet funky you are it's like my my trainer said when we first set my fitness goals he said you know you walk in some place and you think wow that guy is so confident and nice and friendly but inside very small he's french <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. My date was very small. Okay, so here's a quick rundown on what happened. First thing he told me was that he was trying to rehome his dog. So oh. he had had this dog. So that was already a red flag. Then his friend showed up and was looking for K. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm a dork. I don't know what form K is in. Is it a powder? Is it a liquid? Is it a pill? I don't know. But I didn't have any on me. And then he told me I looked ugly in our videos. And then, and then... I was dumb enough because I needed to go let my dog out. I brought him back to my house. And then he started filming my house. Like, who the fuck starts filming your house? And Troll. then he goes, can I fuck you? <laughs> I said, no, you may not. And then he said, will you fuck me? I said, no, 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 no. But I have no. a ferret who's interested. But I have a ferret who's interested. So, yeah, that was that was my first Tinder date. So I think I'm going to back off of that for a minute. But on Tinder, um, do you put a bio that says, hey... Uh, do you I want me to read it? Right, what my bio. I says? want to know what your bio says, and I will tell you mine on Grinder, I guess. Although I'm okay, on my phone. Pull it up. Let's pull up our. Someone's got to date us, right? I didn't. Even, I'm not even. I don't think I. Yeah. I just whatever. Here it is. What does it say? No, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't want to, but now you're gonna have to go ahead and do it. You didn't do a dare for me last time, so go ahead and do it. Just, just read it. All right. Whatever. Here's what it says. Good job, good life, things are well. Love anything outdoors, just here to laugh, and I'm not stopping. So Things are well? Things are well. Things are well. They are. I'm a happy person. I, I Everything's going well in my life. I mean, there are obviously personal struggles and family struggles and all these struggles. things. Struggles? Struggles. <laughs> I got some struggles, Harry. <laughs> things are well. They, things they... are well. I'm a happy person, so I'm not looking for like... I'm actually... I don't think... I don't know why I joined Tinder because I don't want. I don't know what I want, man. I guess we just figure that out. I'm I don't know what I want, like, man. Do you use what? Bro and shit on the apps, or are you one of those? No, because I don't use Bro in real life. I say the word man and dude a lot in in person. So sometimes so do I. I'll so weird. Text the word man, but like, yeah, that's just that's how I talk. I'll say, "Oh my god, man, dude." <laughs> I don't know. What does yours say? Well, I'm currently looking at my Grinder profile. Mine, I guess, hmm. the, um, I'm one of those jerks. I'm realizing now that I'm someone nobody wants to. You have to with. say it. I said mine. Mine's. No, all, it just yours. says, hey. That's all it says. No, it does not. It That's says, hey. It says. I know. What is I'm it? What's those. the picture? Well, the picture's cute. <laughs> Show me. Pull it up. And you can watch on discadpod.com. Show us. We'll post this on the socials. We'll post both of our photos from our dating apps on the internet. <clears throat> oh my God, you can see your cum gutters. Whatever. Sorry about them. Slut pig, shirtless, nipples out. You can basically see the start of your big dick. <laughs> that little quest bar peeking out <laughs> under the wrapper. <laughs> okay, speaking of big dicks. You you just worked with, but my on Scruff, my name is Dula Peep, and no one gets it. My name is Dula Peep on Scruff, and the people that do get it, I know we can hang, but we don't. I don't. I haven't met anyone on Grinder except for the personnel. So do you know we've been through it? But okay, I'm gonna change subject because you're. I've heard and I've know because I've seen a picture on your Instagram. You're working with my favorite comedian of all time, Sherry O'Terry, and I want to. Yes. This right here, right now, is my campaign to get Sherry O'Terry on this show what are you doing with her um i can't say everything but i wrote a podcast um it's a scripted thing we're trying to sell us a movie and i wrote a part for for sherry in it and she plays an elf named tina from the cookie department in the north pole <laughs> it's tina uh on purpose what do you mean like tina as in like crystal meth no her name's just tina from cookies okay it's just literally, it's, just it's, 
it's a cute little, you know, show. I, about I have a sister elves. named Tina. And I um, love the name Tina. Tina Turner is an icon. Okay, so But I, I love Sherry. Sherry came in for one campaign. day. She stole the show. Okay. She's so funny. She's so sweet. She's, you know, a legend to me. She's a hero of mine. Oh, okay. I want to meet her. I want to have a conversation with her. I want Yeah, to let's work show. on it. We're going to make it happen. Speaking of shows, Fire Island, June 2nd. Greg Riley, Sean Xavier, and Max Connor. The Another movie? little plug. No, it's our Fire Island show, motherfucker. The next next little plug I want to put out there. New Arrivals is now on NakedSword.com. It's, it's four scenes with eight new guys who have not done porn um, or have only done like a scene or two. The first scene stars uh, Christian Wolf and Serge Shepard. Serge is from the Ukraine. And when we filmed, it was one of the first days that Ukraine was being invaded by Russia. And this guy, he was going through it with his family. Of course, I'm asking him, do you want to reschedule? What do you want to do? And he he wanted to go through with it. And he did a great job. You guys are going to love this scene. Check it out on NakedSword.com. And check out New Arrivals all this month and next month. That's my plug. Um, I hear that we have a little uh, question from, uh, I know last episode was our fan episode, but we still have questions coming in. Cameron, our lovely producer, I say, first off, I want Cameron on the next episode. Cameron has got to finally make an appearance. So next episode, Cameron, whether you like it or not, you've got to come on. Cameron you've is got a to star. chat with us for a little bit. He is amazing. He's a star. He's an icon. He's a legend. And he has a question for us. He's, he's fingering me right now. He's putting up his middle finger. What's our question? Go for it. Is that audio question? Okay, play it. John, stop checking your scruff. Hi, guys. This is David calling from Sydney, Australia. I, I love your podcast. Both of you guys are fucking hilarious. Like, I listen to you guys all the time. You're so funny. And I, I just want to say, my question is, like, if you guys switch bodies, like, if we had a Freaky Friday thing going on, where Mark, Mark, you get to be in John's body for a day, and John, you get to be in Mark's body for a day. What would you guys do? I would stare this at my ass. Would be really interesting to know. I would, I would love play to be in with John's Mark's body, ass, but I could be in that without changing bodies. Oh, that was good. Good, good for you. That's good. Um, what would I do if I was in John's body? Careful. Well, I really want to explore the dick because it's it's a mystery. John's dick is like an enigma at this point. It's a big. Is it small? Is it regular? Is it does it have scales? Like there's so much mystery around your dick, John, that I would first spend a lot of time with it. Um, and I would enjoy being how tall are you? Six, two, yeah. six, three. I would enjoy the extra two inches. I'm only six foot. You're six, two. I, I've always wanted to be a little taller. So I would enjoy that. I probably are your nipples sensitive. I can't emphasize how sensitive they. It's it's almost. You look like a you problem. have sensitive nipples. It's a problem. I do not have sensitive nipples, but you look like you do. So I would play with them, play with my dick, and I would just walk around uh, calling Sherry O'Terry all day. What would you do? <laughs> yeah, it's almost a problem. I might have to get like. Sometimes I feel like I need to like tape them because even wearing clothes is like uncomfortable sometimes. Is it's it a like, sexual like sensitivity? Yeah. Do you get hard when someone plays with you? If someone were to just like suck on your breast, would you oh, get hard? It's over. Oh, it, more than that. It would just be, I, I could to completion myself. Without touching your scaly dick, you could come if someone was sucking on your breast? There's a way to figure that out. Well, I guess when we, we sw- oh, first off, why aren't you answering this question in your Australian accent? <sighs> um, I put that, I retired that. Why? That's one of your best qualities. <laughs> if I were Mark, I would smile all day because I love his teeth and I would bejiggle my butthole. <laughs> and just, and go and uh, get in that hammock um, on your terrace and just bejiggle those cheeks. And then I would I take just a, built a si- Go ahead. No, I would take a trip um, across the world because that's apparently what Mark does all the time. You would do you 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 made what a farm? No, I made a beach on my terrace. I, I went to Home Depot. I got 15 bags of ba- uh, sand, and I made a little beach on my terrace. So now all summer, I'll be able to tan my hole for you, John. And where are those dogs going to shit in the sand? The, the yard is really big, so it they is can really shit big. on either side of the beach. I love those dogs. John Hill Memorial Beach and Sand Pit. Hey, should we <laughs> should we do Thoughty Toppies? Let's do it. Bring okay. it on. 
Let's start off. Let's go through these together. There's been a study that uh, men who pose shirtless on dating apps are unappealing and slutty. <laughs> That's what we just did. <laughs> wow. So. Why? Why is that unappealing and slutty? Well, it shows that women think shirtless men on dating apps have lower social appeal and display risky sexual behavior. But like, those are the two things I want in someone. No social skills fine. and a slut. A slutty, awkward person with no self-confidence. Or maybe I'm just describing myself. Uh, they say that shirtless men display lower competence. Like, the, mm. Competence or confidence? Competence. Making up really? for something you don't have, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. sorry, but I have a trainer and I work very hard at applying filters to my photos. So Do you do any that. sort of like shape shape uh, work on your body? Shape like wear. some of these, do you wear shape? Are you wearing Spanx? Are you wearing skims? But some of these guys no. are like adjusting the, the shape. See, I like that. See, I feel like I look kind of good, but, but real yeah. still. You know, you can see that I have some skin. But you look great. But like, uh, but some of these people are kind of like uh, photoshopping and stuff like that. Do you do any of that or just filters? No, I mean, I, I think that you can't really false advertise because then that's really going to disappoint people. You could see like, for example, you could see on my Instagram, I have scars on. I have like one big scar here and one there. You got to leave them. You can't like Photoshop shit out. You can't change shapes. You got to like, you got to see that shit. Well, you know, when we went out on our lunch date, I asked you out f for your tits and your tits alone. That's the one thing I got. I was just, yeah, I, really I naturally have, I think, a big, bigger chest. Gorgeous. And that's got to be, you got to show it off. What am I Good job, to Mark. Be, okay, let's talk about monkeypox. Let's talk about monkeypox. Um, it's not a gay disease. We don't want to brand monkeypox as a gay disease. Stop doing that. The World Health Organization wants to just delineate that anyone who grinds up against anyone with droplets and close to close especially sexual content content Con is that what you say contact, contact. contact. my bad contact. your content uh, monkey pox is content uh contact um yeah so literally it's not the yeah just uh be careful whoever you are whoever you're having sex with wait so that's a thing people think that monkey pox is a gay disease because um they there were a lot of cases coming out of I guess bathhouses saunas and like a gay pride event in Spain and so a lot of gays why are you laughing because this now explains why two of my sisters called me this week to see if I brought monkeypox to America because uh -huh. it yeah. had started in Spain and then it went to the Canary Islands and then it came to America which is what I did so I for a second thought oh my god maybe I did because back in 2020 I got COVID very early on. I got it in January of 2020 when we were filming in Hawaii before we knew what COVID was. You're always so such I thought, a trailblazer. Oh my God, here it is. I'm, I'm starting another pandemic. Yeah. Do we want to just call Mark? Let's call this episode Patient Zero. Mark starts monkeypox. Mm. Okay. Anyway, it's not a joke I mean, either. I've been kind of giggling about it just because the name is so dumb. Or so, you know, it's like, but, it's but no is it laughing matter. But that big matter. of a deal? Isn't it just like, like chicken pox? You get over it, you're fine. It's not deadly. Um, I think we shouldn't be saying too much about, we should take an, any sort of illness seriously, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I can't practice medicine anymore. Let's move it along then. Uh, Jimi Hicks, Hendrix penis Jimmy has Hicks. been, <laughs> Jimi <laughs> Hendrix penis cast set to be unveiled at the Icelandic Phallological Museum next month. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Um, so a woman, wait, someone, yeah, a woman known as the plaster caster, previously made penis mold of him. Uh, I see. She made a mold of it in 1968 while he was on tour in Chicago. She donated it to the museum before they passed. Uh, would you let someone take a cast of your penis, Mark McNamara? Mm, would I let somebody take a cast of my penis? I don't think there's a big need for that. I don't think people are going to the museum looking for my dick cast who what celebrity would you go to the museum for orlando bloom okay uh maybe bloom and onion right uh maybe sherry o'terry sherry o'terry you know what i would like to see trump's dick in a museum because one of my good friends is a makeup artist or was so i can say it now because it's past tense from marla maples 
who as you know was married for tr to Trump from 93 to 99 and she told him that Trump has the tiniest little dick that you could ever imagine. So I want just everyone to know how tiny his little dick is. Not that, you know, I'm not offending people with little dicks, John, don't don't get hurt. It's I not just... little. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I just have questions. I'm questioning. I'm the Q in the LGBTQ. New research so, uh, shows that dolphins recognize each other by tasting one another's piss. <laughs> I read that cold. <laughs> Wait. I have not researched this. Jo dolphins recognize each other from tasting one another's piss? What the fuck are dolphins drinking that they have piss? Do dolphins drink salt water and then piss it out? I think that all drink? creatures, you know take a whiz you know but don't you have to drink something to whiz what are fish drinking now we sound dumb you know you do these things where you mock me for being dumb but you sound so dumb <laughs> do you know the answer what the f what are fish drinking are they drinking salt water and then like desalinating it and then pissing it out yeah and then they <laughs> drink it and then they recognize each other well isn't that something you do in like elementary school you're like do fish drink water and then you I bet the you ants. have a lot of. I bet your pee is clear, John, because you drink a lot of liquids. You have a lot of clear pee, huh? You're supposed to pee, pee clear once a day, or your kidneys aren't clean. That's how you know. You should always take one clear whiz. <laughs> a clear white whiz. Okay, we're gonna okay. wrap this up, and I'm gonna uh, taste your urine to see if I can recognize you in the dark. We'll be Let's right do back that next episode. Yeah. We'll be right back with Coco Montries and Boomer Banks. Two big dicks. Small penises. Well. Uh, welcome back to the show. I'm here with my true face uh, and one of uh, my favorite people in the world. You know her from season five of uh, Drag Race and also Lip Sync Assassin on All Star Season 6. <laughs> It's Coco Montrese. Listen, the camera just went a little dark for me, but I'm assuming she's still there. Hi, Coco. Hi, I'm still yes. here. Can you see me? Okay, All right. There it is. Hi. What's going on? And Speaking of BDE, it's Coco Montrese. That's me. What's going on, y'all? We've talked about your 10 inch dick on this podcast before, so <laughs> it's time to get into it. We're going to. I remember. I, my DMs were real full after that. It was crazy. But Speaking I only did like half full. of them. Speaking of being full, and you know him from fucking Coco Montries. It is <laughs> international gay porn star Boomer Banks. Yes, that's actually that actually, that actually would be true because apparently Coco will not let anybody fuck her unless they're bigger than her. Exactly. What? So wait, <laughs> Boomer and Coco, you two have had sex? No, absolutely. <laughs> Boomer, really? Boomer, are, is that what we're doing today? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Are we denying it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Coco, don't get, Wait. don't get me in trouble, Coco. Don't oh, who see. topped who? He, he topped, topped me. Who? He topped me. I let him top. <laughs> who has the bigger dick? I did, but I took it for the team that day. Oh, uh, <laughs> what team is that? Wait a second. <laughs> you have a bigger... Coco, your dick is bigger than Boomer's? Yes. Boomer, how far did you get it down your throat? I we have not compared, but I would love to do that one day, and so we can settle the score. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> it seems like we're doing that. It seems like we're doing that. Boomer, are you scrambling oh. eggs? What are you doing? I I, I am making coffee. Yeah, making you're busy coffee. multitasking. Let me wait. Here's something you don't know about me and Boomer. He lives in my old apartment oh, in New York City. Oh my God! Wait, you guys want to see? Wait, his your old actual old apartment? Yes, yes. My li he lives in not my old building, but my literal old apartment. Old it's the worst apartment I ever had. But he somehow saged <laughs> and got a Wiccan ayahuasca priestess voodoo oh, ceremony no, up I in there. Oh no! I did. Look, I have it. all the candles because it's fucking like there's all the witcheries there was here. Dark energy before before <laughs> oh, I left, but he see? cleaned it up. Yeah. How did you know that? How did you guys? We figured it out. How? We, we, we figured were chatting. It out. Yeah. He was topping me. <laughs> Just kidding. We haven't done that. <laughs> Wait, John, did you? No, we have no. not. No. <laughs> no. Is there anyone in this chat except for me that you have not had sex with? I think I fucked Cameron the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be sure. Well, which is illegal because he's only 14. <laughs> Don't say that. Did he tell you his real name while you were inside of him? <laughs> uh, Bafuzula. <laughs> <laughs> Bafusla is right. Okay, speaking of Bafusla, Coco, when did you realize that you had this is a big dick energy episode? When did you realize that you had a big dick? I, 
<laughs> I didn't realize it until probably like 18, 18 19. Did, she came out of the womb dick first. Because it was huge. <laughs> like, it was huge, but I didn't know. I just thought it was, you know, I thought that was natural for black guys, you know. Black guys all have. That's, that's racist. That's racist. No, that's it's racist. not. It's fact. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Actually, it's not fact, Do baby, you... but. <laughs> Do you seek out a partner other than Boomer who has a big dick or someone that's bigger than you? No, I mean all sizes work for me. I, it's not. It's uh, not the size. Coco, why are we doing that today, Coco? Are we doing that today, Coco? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been rejected because your dick is too big? Like, Absolutely. No, that's not. Really? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Same. Same. Have you rejected yeah. a dick because it was too small? No. No. I have oh? not. No. No, I learned my lesson with that one. What does that I, mean? I, I, I've, I've I, never... I went into one thinking, you know, oh, this is small. This will be a piece of cake. It'll be fun. Mm. It was, it was, he went in and it was big time, major, major great. It was like the best. You can say my name. We're all friends here. We're just, we're open. <laughs> we're transparent here. You can say It was what John. I, I did it It was well. John. Okay. Thank you. I'm Aww, proud of my plus, work. Plus his little dick heart. <laughs> I'm a mover and a shaker a... and a show grower, not a shower. He's got a good okay. face, though. He's got a good face to sit on, though. <laughs> my true face. Yeah. I usually say that to people when I, I don't find them attractive, but go off. <laughs> you have such a pretty face. <laughs> Let me sit on it. <laughs> Coco. Yes. What other Rue girls do you know that have big dicks? Jada Essence Hall. Jada, Jada had been Hall? Jada had been trying to get me for a while, and then she she went and publicly. I don't know if she was drunk one night, but she went publicly and sent me this message <clears throat> asking me when I'm gonna let her into this and everything. So we did, now, and it was you? cool. Yeah, oh, I only fuck. Up. I only fuck the winners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get to the hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand now. So you fucked, right. So you fucked uh, Evie as well. Evie, I won't say that I fucked Evie, but Evie has a very big dick. That when we were great. filming, yeah, when we were filming the Vegas review, that reality show, yeah. I found out then Evie's got a big dick. And how do you keep huge. it all strapped up in there? Is it a lot of duct tape? Like, how do you tuck it up? I know this is a basic question, but but I'd like to know. What kind of okay, hoisting so you, are you having to do with that meat? <laughs> you put, you take your balls and there's two sockets on the side, right up up, up, up your waist. You what kind of balls, balls do you up, have? Oh, sockets on, I got it. Yeah, so you push them up in the sockets and then you pull back. And if you're short, you, I mean, you just pull back and you take. But if you're like me and Jada and Evie, you put it into the hole. So you're fucking yourself the whole time you're in drag. Do in so many ways. Have sockets? Yeah, it's cool. Feel, I don't feel any sockets. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, Boomer, you know where the sockets are. I don't tuck. What are you talking about? Speaking no, of, we don't... lost the Cyber Socket Award, but keep going. Ew. Oh, I think you that's love... okay. I think that's very okay. <laughs> but John, are you sad about that, honestly? Because I would be very happy that I was not associated with those people. And I have not been associated with those people for many years. And I am quite all right with that. Um, apparently to them, I don't make porn. To CyberSocket, I do not exist. But I also don't kiss their ass. So Right. That. I didn't know what it was till we were nominated. But I just like any sort of award. And the fact that we lost just makes me sad. But wait a minute. You're not a porn Who did you lose to? Artiste. Who did you lose uh, to? Someone. I don't know. <laughs> I just know that know. they happened, and I we didn't get an uh, alert, so I assume we lost. But oh, okay. again, yeah, sit on my face and console me. I will. I but, will. You also said Coco that your All Stars oh. Two co star Alaska is hung. Is that true? I could. It see is that. true. Alaska in the dressing room always literally didn't care. She was just letting it all hang out. And she's a horse. Yeah, the bonier or the face, a... the bigger the dick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay, John, we get it. You got a big dick. <laughs> John, you have a big dick? No, no. It's like a half a quest I'll, bar. I'll find know. out. Oh. <laughs> Birthday cake. Same, same texture. And it tastes, yeah. Same texture. <laughs> 
starchy and dry, pasty and ashy, oh, no. ashy little half quest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me ask this quest bar for the big dicks in the room. What is the worst part about having a big dick? Like, where does it go wrong? Nothing. There's nothing bad about having a big dick. <laughs> nothing at all. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Nothing. No. I mean, I, it, I mean, I mean, we can you can say that people like you know won't sleep with us because we have big dicks. And I mean, I guess that's just dodging a bullet. If you uh, don't want to sleep with us, I don't care. Like, bye. (laughs) But also those are, those are the people that are pretending like they can't take big dick. They're like, Oh, I don't know if I can take it. And then you see them like taking several dicks um, with gaping hole pictures all the time. Um, now, do you like do you like a gaping hole? Is that something that like you go for? No, I don't. Not not like it, but I don't necessarily advertise that. That is what I go for. Well, you just I did. like gaping holes. Yeah, I love a gape. Okay, fall into it. <laughs> <laughs> don't fall into. Are there any rules to having it. a big dick? Like, can you not feed it after midnight? Do you have to <laughs> eat extra? You know. <laughs> Branch chain amino acid bullshit. I don't know. Like, is there upkeep? You have to, yeah. You have to like uh, up upkeep of the big dick. <clears throat> yeah, you have, do you have to, to walk it. it. Do you, you have, have to give to, it uh, exfoliate? Yeah, I, I hire I hire uh, several twinks to wash it for me. Okay, see, that's an extra expense. Okay. So you, extra no, no, they do it for sh- free. They do. It for oh free. right. Yeah. You should exfoliate, though. You yeah. definitely should exfoliate. Oh, yeah. I hate an ashy dick. If you got an ashy dick, a- I, b- bitch, it's worse than ashy knees for me. There is no reason for an ashy dick. Like, put some fucking no. spit on it, something. I see these pictures with ashy dicks. I'm like, girl, like, <laughs> there's lube, there's spit. Like, why is your dick ashy? What you got going on? The best on? thing to do. Well, the best thing to do is, you know, use vitamin E. It's <laughs> the vitamin E oil on the dick. It's like... Keeps the dick moisturized and pretty. I would assume Shiny you probably glove. want to have a, a breathable fabric on on the, the them panties as well. Panties. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Speaking of panties, are you guys watching All Stars Seven right now? Never heard of it. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> Coco, are you watching All Stars Seven? <laughs> I honest, honestly, I haven't had a moment to watch it, and I'm going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> I, all I did. Good. It is. It is really good. It's it's like it it's, is it, the best season since your season, All Stars Two. You could skip really three. Honestly, three honestly, it is. It is the. It regained my faith in the franchise for sure. Like I yeah. can't. I can't even tell you how magical the the first two episodes were. It was really nice to see queens that are excited, you know, to to mm-hmm. to to be there to compete. Um, to have mm-hmm. the camaraderie, like e- it, every factor that you would hope would be. And I feel like because no one's being eliminated, spoiler alert, um, uh, that I feel they're just having a good time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. The clips I saw are very good. The fashions are top notch. They look great. All the girls look great. Yeah, they all clips. look great. The clips. You can't yeah. be bothered with an episode. You got to uh, see the clips. No, who would you I, do if you it was Snatch Game again? You had to go up there and do it again. Who would you do? Who would I do? For I would Snatch go game? as Boomer's Dick. I do a great impression of Boomer's Dick. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Where's the gaping Boomer. hole? <laughs> I should have never gave him that information ever. <laughs> um, I would probably do probably Wesley Snipes or somebody like that. Oh shit! Who did you do before? I did Janet. Mm. Okay, I did Janet. You should I'm do this shirt, this Janet shirt, because it we was hard. Our you, should do, you should do you should do Noxima Jackson. That would be fun. Yeah. yeah, that would be really good. Yeah, that would be. Really it's fun. hard to do Janet though. Got to make it funny, and I just was not in the mood to be picking at picking at Janet like that. You can I That's ask you girl. some Janet questions? Yes. What is your favorite Janet song to perform to? Oh, uh, my my favorite song. You you're gonna be shocked by this one. What? Throb. Oh, I was what? gonna That's say amazing. That's amazing. Throb on you SNL know, is iconic. Written about I, Boomer's dick. Seriously. <laughs> You know who I just saw uh, perform that? They did a great job. Uh, George's. 
George. Oh, she did. Yeah, she did a great oh, I job. Oh, go see it. She was jumping around, doing her little touch the ghost, and like it was fierce. Uh huh. Yeah. I like her. I like her a lot. She's cool. Yeah. She looks good too. Yeah. She was wearing this black. Yeah. She did, and she had curly, curly, curly hair like that. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. She's hot. I like her. She, I should probably fuck her too. She's like this tiny. <laughs> you have to ask her two boyfriends Friend. first. She's got I'll two break, boyfriends. Oh, she has two. Come boyfriends. one, come all. I'll break. I'll break them all in half. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do they double? Uh, do okay. So here's a big dick question. Do you, is it hard to double penetrate someone because you can't get like, how many big dicks can you get? Now, nowadays, time? no, it's not. It, nowadays you could double penetrate anyone. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Because and I don't know. Nowadays. It just seems, it just seems like nowadays everyone's like gaping. <laughs> okay. If you two both big dicks had to top together, double penetrate uh, a rue girl, who are you picking? And you have oh, to agree stop. on it. Oh, stop. Jiggly. Stop, What? Stop. Jiggly? It's jiggly. Oh, you don't want to say it, Boom? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, we've I'm, already I'm, known all the brew girls that you fucked. You fucked someone in Central Park. That's the only that? one. <laughs> yes, that's the only one. And that is very much known. And that was, I, I didn't know that was happening. I was Who? at the Rambles. Who? It was Dahlia. What is her name? Dahlia. The broccoli. Dahlia. Dahlia? Right? Yeah, Dahlia. But um, I'm fucked in Central Park, starring Boomer Banks. And broccoli. I'm, I'm Who's seen, broccoli. I'm lost. I'm, I've been seeing a Rue girl, so I can't be. <laughs> what do you mean you've been seeing? Like you're dating a Rue girl? I, I have feelings for somebody, yes. Who? I'm I, I have feelings for somebody. And this is they know about us. And this and this, is, and this is the first time that I've ever actually like Ross Matthews. Been, yes. Ross Matthews. <laughs> Ross, um, Ross Matthews. <laughs> is it Santino? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got together. Not if I was Stevie Wonder or Ray Charles. No, ma'am. Oop. Oop. They, okay, um, it's game. Let's let's move it along since you're not going to tell us. I'll make you tell me off camera. <laughs> it's time to play Cream Queens. I'm going to play an audio clip, and you have to tell me whether it's the sound of a porn star moaning or a drag queen giving a fake orgasm. Are you ready? It's gonna be John versus Boomer versus Coco. Okay. Clue yes, sir. number one, it's either a porn star or a drag queen. And hit it. <gasps> it's Joy Behar. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. <gasps> okay, Coco, what's, a porn what's star? you? That is a porn star. Boomer, you said porn star, John? Yeah, yeah porn star, Michael Boston. You all oh. got it correct. It's not Michael Boston. It is Eric Charming in Sweet Meat. Everyone has one point. It is a tie game. All right. Clue number two. John. Drag queen. Drag queen. Drag queen. Boomer. Drag queen. Coco. Drag queen. You are all incorrect. No. That is Ben Andrews coming. BDE. All right. Mm -hmm. Still a tie game. Clue number three. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a drag queen. <laughs> One more time. Uh -huh. Drag queen. Uh -huh. Okay, Boomer, you say drag queen. Coco? It's a drag queen. <laughs> and John? I'll say porn star just to mix it up. Okay, so John, you're in last place. That is Damn. Coco Montrese during season five <laughs> of Untucked. <laughs> And John should know that. He definitely I should know, know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three more questions halfway there. Boomer and Coco are tied. Clue number four. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, Boomer. That's a porn star. That's a porn star. Porn star. Yeah. Coco. Porn star. Porn star. Yeah. John. Porn star. It's Trixie Mattel. <laughs> Damn. I do well, not want to hear Trixie having an orgasm that do it again like do the... it again play it again <laughs> <laughs> does trixie have a big dick i have no idea i you have to ask katya oh have they fucked do they, are they fucking no they're not fucking i don't know i they're boomer not. how do you know yeah, they're not fucking girl okay. they're not <laughs> that was trixie fucking no. katya so it's still a tie game boomer and coco in the lead two more clues anyone's game Clue number five, go. <laughs> this is John taking a shit. 
<laughs> All right, Coco, sad. what is that? Mm. Porn star. John? Drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's Boomer? a drag queen. Boomer? It, it's a donkey. <laughs> the, Coco a donkey. is now in the lead because that was Michael Boston. And yes. You asked for it. <laughs> Didn't I, like I just that. say what it was? Didn't I, I just say what it was? I can't. All right. Coco is in the lead. I said donkey. Last. I said donkey. Blue. That's a drag queen. It's drag queen. Drag queen. Drag queen. Okay. It is a drag queen. That is Raja and Raven. That means Coco wins the game. You are the ultimate big dick winner. Thank you so much for being here. Coco, where can people find you? You can find me. I'm actually on the set right now of a podcast I co- co-host. It's called Go Deep, No Sleep. And you can find it at Go Deep, No Sleep LV. Love it. Okay. Can't wait. And Boomer, where can people find you? Uh, Instagram, at Bacon Lover. Bacon Lover? Yeah. Oh, look at or that. you can subscribe to my OnlyFans, Boomer Banks. Will you be posting any <laughs> content with your new drag queen lover? No, uh, oh <laughs> it's not that kind of <laughs> relationship. Y'all, yourself? don't forget to take your big dicks for a walk. Get it a cute leash. Get it a little collar, <laughs> some little booties. Don't feed it after midnight and moisturize. We love you guys. Thank you for being here. And check every back alley and dumpster for Boomer. <laughs> we will be right back with Order of the Penis, where we're going to count down. I don't know what we're going to count down. John's going to count down the top celebrities he thinks have big dick energy. And I'm going to count down the biggest dickheads I've ever worked with. We'll be right back. I better not be on that. You're not. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome back to Discretion Advised. Uh, Just to be totally clear, Mark and Cameron just had a fight Um, during the break. They had fisticuffs uh but i'm the peacemaker and i'm gonna mend the fences uh welcome back uh it's time for order of the penis isn't it mark for the record me and cameron did not have a fight we were agreeing about how small your penis is no you can't do that (laughs) (laughs) fine let's do order of the penis I love it. All right. Well, we're going to count down. You're going to count down uh, three biggest dickheads you've ever worked with. And I'm going to do a hodgepodge. Uh, You first. Okay. So here we go. Three biggest dickheads to go in line with our big dick energy. Um, The first one is Johnny Rapid. And I say this with love now because I I feel like he was just in a a, maybe a bad place when we had this bad experience. And he's now... Much better and lovely, and he's great now. But when we were filming Pirates, we just didn't mesh very well. There was a scene where he had to give his sword to Diego in the movie, and he refused to give his sword because that was his sword. Like, you're not an actual pirate. We're we're filming a movie. Just please, for the love of God, we're all hot. We're dying on this rock. Just hand him his fucking sword, and he wouldn't do it. So... That's my first one. Although, let's let me again clarify: me and Johnny are great now. He's lovely. He's fun. He was just having a bad moment. Mm, okay, I have to look this person up. Sounds like a dick. <laughs> um, mine. I was gonna say. Well, I started writing down uh, a list of celebrities I thought might have uh, BDE, and the first one and last one is always gonna be Orlando Bloom. I know I've mentioned him already. Um, but I have a thing for Orlando Bloom. Do you have thoughts on that? Or do you think he just has like BCE, like big cheeks energy? Because the ham hock. I think he has big cheeks energy. I don't think that he has big dick energy, nor do I think he has a big dick. Okay. So we'd be a good match. Yeah, you guys can like twiddle thumbs together. Middle dick. I have medium dick energy. I know I do. It's fine. M-D-E, U-N, Orlando. Yeah. Okay, next. Which is fine. Okay, so the next person who I would say was a dick on set, and this is just because I'm playing nice now. He was not a dick, but it was just hard to get him to do things. Tobias. He was in Tarzan, and there was a scene with him and Diego where this we uh, hired this like actual giant snake. 
And the handler came and Tobias was so scared of that snake that we couldn't get the scene done. And he was just very scared of nature in general. And we filmed the movie outside in the jungles of Costa Rica. And there were lots of snakes. It was snake season. It was monsoon season. So I get there was a lot of bad elements. He was just scared of everything. He would not take his shoes off. It was just really hard to film him and Tarzan because he was just scared of everything. But he's a lovely guy. I just had to populate this list with people, right? Yeah. And it's like... Again, you don't have to shoot porn outside. You know I don't like oh it. Oh my god! Yes, Tarzan should have taken place in a studio apartment. Um, you have anybody else? I can name you three off the top of my head. Three celebrities with BDE. Well, yeah, who? Aubrey Plaza. She definitely has BDE. She can handle any situation and any question thrown at her. Niecy uh, Nash. Niecy Nash. Idris Elba. Chelsea Handler. They all have BDE. I think Chelsea has medium like me. No, she's not scared of anything. She has she's, a big swinging dick. She's thick, but short. Um, okay. I was going to jump in on the dickhead talk uh, at work. I worked on Top Chef season five. And one of the people who got eliminated, we had to do exit interviews like when at the finale. like, And there sometimes it was like four in the morning and we couldn't find a PA because all the PAs had like gone off to celebrate and do ecstasy in new Orleans. And so it was just me and one of the other senior producers. And they were like, well, we need to get like a breakfast order for these eliminated contestants. And I was like, whatever, I'm not above it. Even though I'm not a PA fine, I'll go get their breakfast order. So I knocked on this guy's hotel room because we were doing the exit interviews like in the hotel. And he was so angry that he got uh, eliminated that he was like, he opened the door naked and I was like, put some clothes on and he was like, fuck you. And then he complained that they only were served cheap wine, but it was one of the judges wines. Like, cause that's uh. part of the show. And I was like, well, it's, I have nothing to do with that. Just what's your order. And he was like, he threw the menu at me. Then he slammed the door. Then he said, wait, I want the menu back. And then he took it in that he fell asleep. Cause he was what? drunk. And it, was four in the it was just like bad. Anyway, Who he was, was a dick. It? Again, populating the list. I don't. Rem I literally don't remember his name, but I could pick him Season out of a lineup. Season five eliminated. What did he look like? We'll talk off off the pot. Oh, look at you! Not even wanting to name names. Fine. My last name no. is Bo Banks because he didn't show up for our interview with Kelly Dodd, and Kelly Dodd did the solo because Bo motherfucking Banks never showed up. Bo is like family. There's a few porn stars that I consider family, and I love working with Bo. But he gets on the list because he didn't show up that day. Well, my last on the list is Lana. It's Lana or Lana. It's Lana from uh, the restaurant I worked at in Times Square when I was 21. <laughs> and this freaking bitch named Lana, she was like 23. I was like 21. She was like, I go around town. I go around the country and I open restaurants and that's what I do. And I like teach you guys how to be like the best waiters possible. I wasn't even a waiter. And I stayed at the, I think I don't think I started, but she was like, and my name is Lana, not Lana. If you call me Lana, I will correct you. It's Lana. And all day people would be like, excuse me, Lana, it's Lana. Like it just became, um, irritating and then she was like and under no circumstances will any sort of sexism or sexual harassment be tolerated um and like don't even talk you. don't even complicate uh, or compliment someone's hair or how they look and we're like okay great that's professional and like two like two hours later she's like <laughs> strutting across the restaurant with one of the waiter's hands she's behind her holding her tits and they're like doing like a zombie walk. <laughs> and like, they didn't think anybody was watching. And I was like, Lana, it's Lana. You're breaking your own rules. Anyway, that was a bad story. Usually I'm pretty good. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. <laughs> it's I'm so tired. Look, and I uh -huh. blew my knee out and I had to go to the doctor and he taped uh -huh. my knee and gave me like a knee vagina. Show me. Watch on discatpod.com. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Like, look at my knee pussy. What did like you do to your knee? And like when God, I look at those legs. When look I straighten legs. my knee, those are gigantic. It like makes a little foot of it. Well, gross? I mean, come on. You, you, your knees have been put through a lot to carry the weight of your legs. Well, I told you I blew out my knee knees. when I orgasmed. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know, I strained something. You, you you tell a story about stupid Lana, but you blew out your knee because you came. Yeah, can we edit that, that out? Story? Listen, I was trying no. to be more like above board. Tell me the story about you coming and blowing out your knee. I don't know. I got super into it. <laughs> were you jerking off or were you with? 
<laughs> uh, someone from Altadena. <laughs> no, I was just with myself. <laughs> You just got like you went wild and your knee got hit. I'm in a I'm in a um a, a, an era of self discovery and pleasuring um and discovering what I want. I read the Kim Cattrall orgasm book. <laughs> Look, we gotta go. Let's just stop here. All I right, have a- we'll be right back with our Q and Gay. We have one of John's friends who we will continue this conversation about him coming and blowing at his knee. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Discretion Advised. I'm John Hill here with Mark McNamara. I, like I said at the very beginning of the show, am thoroughly enjoying this episode. Aren't you, Mark? No. Okay. Uh, (laughs) Welcome to the show, my very (laughs) good friend Paul, the most handsome, smartest, funniest person in the world. Second only to himself. Second to him is Mark. And then third is Cameron. Hi, Paul. Hi. Hi. I was trying to follow that math. Joining us from the Hollywood Hills his bungalow atop the Hollywood sign. Uh, Paul, you're a marketing and brand strategist expert, sort of, right? Yeah, I am. Can you, what do you, what do you need? If you were me, re re rebrand, rebrand Mark. Rebrand Mark. Okay. Yeah. How would you re, what can Mark work on in terms of what he's projecting into the marketplace? Oh, fuck. Well, so, so (laughs) branding comes down to two things. Who are you talking to and what do they need? Bottoms and, and money. <laughs> <laughs> so if that's what we're going for, Mark has a lot of work to do. Right. Because he's not really projecting top mm. energy and he, or money energy. So, um, you know, we would, we, would, we would look at those pillows. We would look at that shirt. We would look at, you know, I haven't heard him say too much, but I have a feeling it's going to sound. Kind and of, you're not you going know. to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. And if you were going to rebrand me, where would you start and what should I focus on? Wow. Oh, I mean, so this is where marketing turns into a little bit of therapy. Mm. So what I also think of myself as is like a problem solver. So you'd be like, okay, John, what are your problems? What are the things that aren't working in your life? And then I know, I know, I see that face. Um, so what's wrong? And then how do we fix it? So for you, you know, I'd say, I mean, are we allowed to talk about that um, message that you got? The one of the butthole? The one oh, that about you don't need seem... to fuck better. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, if your brand is coming off as like, you don't really know how to fuck. So there's mm. a couple of different ways that you would probably want to approach that. You know, first of all, figure yeah. out, is that true? Well, we don't. I think we need to do what is it called? A focus group and test. Yes. Me. Well, I think it would be called a fuckus group. A yeah. fuckus group. Yeah. Great. Uh, um, let's get on that. Yeah. No, we could do some like one-on-one sessions. Sometimes a triad would help, you know, get different perspectives, get a lot of data. Okay. And research. Then, market research. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then just in terms of platform wise. Uh, right. Okay. I'm just thinking about how I would want to project getting more action into my life. Um well, I see, and that's where, you know, it's not so defining the problem is really important. It's not that you're maybe not getting enough action. It's just that you're not that good at it. Right. I just want to add in so, that you know, Cameron just yawned. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Paul, any questions for, um, you know, Mark directs porn and is an amazing porn director and an artiste oh. uh, and a screenwriter uh, for sexual uh, stories. Uh, any questions for Mark? Do you write, so, do you write erotic fiction? I am just still hung up on the fact that someone with a V-neck and a mustache had the balls to comment on how I look. <laughs> so I like it's you. Not, it's a, you have it's balls. It's a crew. It's a crew. Oh. I do have balls. It's okay. um, This is what I wear to work every day for the last two and a half years in a pandemic. I'm not even wearing sure. pants. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I have a soft spot in my heart for erotic fiction. So when, when John said that that's what you do, I, I got very excited. But um, what type if you of don't, erotic that's fiction do you like? Um, I mean, really a range. I mean, you know, it usually ends up with, um, you know, a gangbang of some sort. But that's my favorite that's story. John's. It's so yes. funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's the tale as old as time. Ten guys yeah. get banged by, uh, they just bang each other in a room. Yeah. Now, let well, me I ask actually like it when it's just that, one. Yeah. One. The same question sure. that I asked John. If you're watching that gangbang, 
who are you imagining? Are you imagining that you're that one bottom? Are you imagining that you're one of the tops? And if so, are you at the beginning mm -hmm. of the gangbang, coming up at the end? Who do you want to be in that scenario? Well, what's so good about a gangbang is that <laughs> you can kind of like flip between like, oh, now, right now I'm feeling like this energy, right now I'm feeling that energy, or you can just be the voyeur. Like I'm a, I'm a bit of a voyeur, not to get too personal about my life, but um, you know, I, I, I like to watch. So that's why I, I'm watching I board. like to be in the middle of the boat as well and then <laughs> <laughs> um but you know sometimes i want to be that guy getting all the attention and sometimes i want to be uh you know kind of adding to the scene so you know it, it it varies but that's what's so great about erotic fiction you can kind of you know if i don't look like the guy on screen whatever but in erotic fiction i'm all the guys and uh, have you ever written erotic that. fiction like would you write like a harry potter uh or twilight Kind of erotic. Me? Yeah. Um, so it's funny. Uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, I moved to rural Pennsylvania for like three weeks and I was really bored. And I started writing erotic fiction about the pandemic, um, which masks. <laughs> no, it was more just like the like, because it became really taboo to like touch people and like, oh my, like, like, so there was like this whole like scene in the woods because like, I mean, this is like getting post-apocalyptic and like, it's like, oh, you know, like I see someone like we're touching it. So it was very, um, I don't know. It wasn't like hardcore porn. It was like a softcore erotica. Softcore gangbang. That's a yeah. good band name. Uh, yeah. Now, Mar now Mark's falling asleep. Uh, okay. <laughs> Any other questions for a porn director or anything? So oh, actually, our episode was about big dicks. Any comments on big dicks? Like them? Um, yeah. Yeah. What's, what's not to love? Sure. I don't just like them. I love them. Wait, have you ever I, rejected I, let, someone? How long the dick have you known big? John? I have known um, about seven inches. Okay. No. Um, I've known John for, on Instagram, I've known him for years. Because we are almost twins. Yeah, he's two days older than me. I think okay. one day. No? No. No, you still don't get no. it. He's the 23rd. I'm the 23rd. I'm the 23rd. You're the 24th. Oh, 25th. 25th. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we met in the comments section of someone's post. <laughs> yeah. How long ago? And then we fell in love. And we huh? fell in love. Um, I don't so know, a couple years ago, but then... in person? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, Mark moved here. And, and Paul moved here. And then uh, we became... Fast, I moved to LA uh, to become friends. friends with John, and now we hang out all the time. I've seen him perform twice this week. Um, one sexually? as Nicole Kidman, sexually, and then the other one, he was in tights, non-sexually. You saw his big old legs and tights? Oh, yeah. It was great. Yeah. It was Is a 24-hour musical. BDE? <laughs> I don't um, have BD. You can say it. It's fine. Well, apparently there were a lot of costume um malfunctions that went on that day um you can so. say it i had to wear a k and n95 mask on my balls and dick because the, the unitard was sheer it you can't say that word anymore sheer mm, tard oh <laughs> uh right it was the 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 bodysuit was a sheer uh material so i had to the costume designer said you're gonna have to wear a k and 95 mask over your your shit. So I did. I well, put that in that between. Does prevent virus spread. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, my dick didn't sneeze any droplets, so we're all good. But no, Lisa Loeb wrote the musical. Paul was there. I, I sang. I did a good job. Sort it was of. great. I, John has an amazing voice. Not based on last week's episode. Don't talk about it. That was well, an improv moment, and I had. You just... were fine. You were just fine. <laughs> Could you sing like one of the lines from the musical from Monday? No, night? bitch. It was so good. It was. So I learned good. this the hard way last episode. Uh, it wasn't cute. People were like, "Wow!" I just got a lot of messages that were like, "Wow!" Period, and then like that singing clip. Um, but no, Paul's amazing, <laughs> and thank you for rebranding us. I'm definitely going to look at my problems. <laughs> I'm going to do some market research to find out really can I can I fuck? We're going to find that out. Yeah. And Paul, where can people find you so they can have a love affair like John did with you? Punk home. My Instagram is at punk home, P-U-N-K-H-O-L-M. And I live in Laurel Canyon. So just come to my house. There the funniest are. pun writer on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and Thank if you guys you. have any questions, please sure to email ask at discatpod.com. Slide into our DMs with all your hot and burning questions. 
And make sure you follow us on discadpod.com and on all the socials at discadpod. That's D I S C A D P O D. It's real hard. See you on Fire Island tomorrow night. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Bye, Paul. Bye, Paul.